Here we've got all three types of lithium ion Makita battery chargers. The one on the far left is the one you normally find if you buy your drill and charge it as a kit. This is probably the cheapest battery charger and it's sort of the one that comes with your DIY kits. This is more of a modern professional lithium ion battery charger. And then finally we've got the most recent updated compacted Makita lithium ion battery charger. We're just going to power these battery chargers up and see what they look like in standby mode. As you can see, all three chargers have a flashing green light indicating that the charging stations are ready to receive the battery. So when we insert a flat battery into the charger, the lights will change to solid red indicating that the battery is charging. We'll try the next charger. Again that plays a little tune, but the red lights come on indicating that the battery is charging up as usual. Then we'll try the final one, flashing green. Again, that changes to solid red, indicating that the battery is charging up and the battery has less than 80% charge in it. So if the battery is too cold, you'd expect a red flashing light on the Makita battery charger. So this battery has been in the freezer, so we'll just see how this performs. So we've got a blinking red light, which indicates there's a temperature issue with the battery. This one's been in the freezer, so it's too cold, but a red flashing light could also indicate that the battery is too warm. Try on our next charger. Again, the light started flashing, indicating that there's a temperature issue with the battery. In this case, it's too cold. And in the final charger, again, you can see the red flashing light indicating there's a problem with the battery, usually due to a temperature issue. Now what you can actually do is you can remove the battery and wait for it to warm up, which is what I would do, or you can actually leave the battery in the charging station until the battery warms up to room temperature and then it will start charging as normal. And you'll be able to see that with the, with the change in lights. So this battery has been fully charged, as you can see on the battery indicator. So we're just going to insert that into our first charger. As you can see, the battery charger's got a solid red light, solid green light, indicating that the battery is charged above 80%. Now that's switched to a solid green light, indicating the battery is at 100% charge. If the battery is over 80% charge, it's a solid red, solid green light. Put it on our next charger. Same battery. It attempts to charge it to start with. Then it'll probably shortly realise that the battery is above 80% charge, represented by the solid red and solid green. And then eventually the light just goes to solid green, indicating the battery is fully charged. Again, it's attempted to charge the battery, then it's above 80%. And in a second, it'll change to solid green to show that the battery is fully charged. There you go, that indicates that the battery is fully charged. So you can now remove that battery, place it into your power tool and get cracking. So sometimes, if your battery is absolutely drained completely flat, it won't charge properly in the charger. So we've managed to drain this battery to as flat as a pancake and we'll just see how it reacts in our chargers. As you can see, because the battery has been drained completely flat, this little yellow lights come on to indicate there's a problem with the charger. If you just take the battery out of the charger and reinsert it again, you'll sometimes get the battery charging action going again. So we'll try this. So we did have a yellow light before. Now we've just got a solid red light to indicate that the battery is charging as usual. So sometimes if your battery doesn't charge straight away, just take it out of the charger two or three times leave a little pause in between and just see if you can get that battery charging again. If it charges normally with no lights then hopefully your battery is good to go. But if you take your battery in and out of the charger and some of these yellow warning lights persist then they could indicate there's a fault with the battery.